Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Love and not hate. Come on. Hey guys, what's up? What's up? This is Ray Max. Today I'm going to do some, um, um, crab legs on the grill, all right? I'm gonna make up some fantastic seasoning for this stuff also. So right now what I what I did is I set my grill up for indirect cooking. What that is is that on one side, I have some lump coals burning on one side of the grill, and then on this side, there is no coals at all, just empty space. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I got me some crab legs and the clusters that I um, had I had about five clusters. I just went on and I broke them down to individually, you know, pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the grill as such on the empty side with the coals on, all right? And y'all, I'm telling y'all, I didn't did this man probably at least around about four times already. And my family loved them. And I tell you what, man, Crab legs are expensive, they are a little pricey, you know what I'm saying, for the dollar. And once you try this recipe, trust and believe me, you'll go back and spend that money anytime. So this is definitely a good recipe, all right? So we got this up. What I'm gonna do now, oh, let me get this claw on here. Aha. I'm just gonna close this up. And we're gonna go ahead and get that sauce ready. And I'll be right back. All right, let me show you how I'm gonna make my um, um, garlic butter sauce for these crab legs. I got two sticks of butter. And I'm putting that into the pan, you know, into a little pot. So I got two sticks of butter. Then I have some garlic. I don't measure y'all. I just say eyeball it as you go. Alright. Got some minced garlic in there from the jar. So I'm going to take some of this here oregano. And I have some lemon pepper seasoning. And I got some spicy seasoning. And that's that Spain spices, y'all. Good stuff. So I'm going to take some Cajun seasoning. Take some parsley. Like I say, I'm just eyeballing, no measurements. Some obey seasoning. If I can open the jar up. There we go, got the jar open. Obey seasoning. use some crab boil seasoning. I gotta open up everything y'all so bear with me. Just a little bit because as you can see I'm not adding any salt. Between that Old Bay and this crab boil it's enough salt in there. Then I got some hot sauce and I'm using some um, Xana Ranch Cajun hot sauce. So I'm going to give this a mix. And I just want this to cook over these coals while these legs are warming up. 
and we'll see how that come out in a minute. So I'm going to close this lid and I'll be back. Alright y'all, I got some shrimps on some metal skewers. I'm going to put these on here. And I just want these just to, you know what I'm saying, just to get red in color a little bit. Because I'm going to add these um, in that pan with the crab legs. So I packed as many shrimp as I could on one skewer. Alright. I got like the crab legs in here. This is my first time throwing shrimp in here, but once I got the crab legs in, I let them sit in the pan over the grill so that the sauce can um, pretty much, man, heat them up a little bit and get inside of the meat, all right? And so I just let this go for at least around about a good 15 minutes on top of the grill. And I try to rotate each piece around for the ones that's at the bottom. Try to make sure I get them um, off of the bottom and put the ones on top in the bottom. And as you can see, these shrimps are soaking up them juices in that butter. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and let these go for five more minutes. And I'm going to snack on these and let you know how these are. But I want you guys to get this recipe a try. And uh, if you can smell this smell right now, unbelievable. Unbelievable. And just to let you know how good it coats, look at this. It coats it. Dipping in the sauce. Looks good. Alright, YouTube, this is what we got right here. I got this set up, man. Crab legs and shrimp came out alright. Now I'm finna sit my tail down and enjoy these here crab legs and shrimp. Alright, YouTube, this is what we got right here. Some crab legs, man. And I tell you, when you cook them on the grill, you ain't got to use no cracker, huh? None at all. Just enjoy. Man, and that sauce, off the hook, man. That sauce is good. Crab legs banging. I'm going to try one of these shrimps here in a little bit. Just wanted to show y'all this before I end up getting off. So y'all got to try this recipe, man. If you don't, then you slipping on something good. This is why I say, man, I like cooking them on the grill versus boiling them. Because they snap. Mm -hmm. Get that meat out of there. Look at that. And then take that piece of meat, put it in that butter. Why not? The whole pan yours. Look at that. Mercy. <laughs> I done made these about four times already. I'm telling you, man, they're addictive. Now, I'm giving y'all the secret to this here recipe. The secret that would cause somebody to slap their mom because it's just that good. Jesus. It's just like you got to get all that. But anyway, make sure you got your pan, your bowl, and have a lot of these on hand because if not, you're going to be in trouble. So YouTube, I want to thank you guys. Oh, the shrimp. Before I go, let me try this shrimp out. Just try this shrimp. Look at that. Look at that. That seat. Now tell me, 
that don't look like that season is packed with flavor. That that shrimp packed with flavor. Look at that. And you can't overcook these shrimp because if you do, man, the, the um, shell will come off real hard and your shrimp will be tough. So don't overcook your shrimp. Dip it in that bottle. Mmm. How much would you pay for a pan like this? How much? Good God. All right, YouTube. This is it. Thank you for checking out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. And I want you guys, man, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of up and coming videos. And whatever you do, whatever you do, try this recipe. Let your friends indulge into it, your family members, and watch what they say. And I guarantee you, man, you'll be the hit of the house or you'll be the hit forever and a day. So thank you so much for checking out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Peace. Love somebody and hate nobody. All right, YouTube. Hey, I want to thank you so much for checking out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you could, hit that red subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to it. You will be notified of up and coming videos. Here are two videos that I believe you would like. Also, click on my picture so you could subscribe. Peace, love, and not hate.